Hello and welcome to another Sibelius lesson. In this lesson, we're going to talk a little bit about working with multiple voices in a single staff. As you're probably already aware, Sibelius allows us to add up to four different voices per staff. An object or note belonging to voice 1 is blue, voice 2 is green, voice 3 is orange, and voice 4 is pink. If an object is a light blue or cyan, it means that it applies or belongs to all voices. For example, a cyan dynamic marking will be interpreted by any coloured voice in that staff. As you know, for a majority of your typing, you'll probably only require voice 1. However, when you do require multiple voices in a staff, you might find note input a little bit slower and more frustrating than usual. But there are a couple of tricks to make this a little bit more bearable. For example, as I mentioned briefly in the hotkeys lessons, if you select something and then hold ALT when pressing the numbers 1 to 5, you can change an object's voice. But this can also be done when we are in editing mode. In other words, when our cursor is highlighted. This means, for example, that while typing in the blue voice, I could at some point press ALT 2 to suddenly switch to the green voice. Now many people find it sometimes too confusing to input a new voice to a staff that already contains a different voice. A way around this is to enter the additional voice into a completely new and empty staff first, and then combine the two staffs afterwards. And there are two decent ways of doing this. The first way is to first change one staff into a different voice, as before ALT plus the numbers 1 to 4. We then want to select only the staff content and not the entire staff itself. As mentioned in the past, to do this, hold Control alt shift and press the voice number you want, in this case the number 2. And I can then copy this and paste it into the other staff. The second way to do this is maybe faster, but it's a bit hard to tell. This time we copy, so Control c the passage we require. We then select where in the score we would like to add it. And then in the Home tab, we click on Paste and Paste into Voice. We then get a pop-up window where we can select the voice we would like to copy and as what voice we should paste it as. In this case, we're copying Voice 1 and pasting as Voice 2. We hit OK and we're done. But this second method will only ever really be faster if we set up a hotkey for the function paste into voice. In the shortcut section of preferences, we can find this feature in the plugins category. You can see here that I've assigned it the shortcut Control Alt V. Regardless of which method we use, one thing that you might realise when we combine two voices is that all of the common rests have been doubled. They sit on top of one another. If you don't want this, you can click on the additional unwanted rests and hide them. This is fine for short passages, but if you're working on larger passages, it might be quicker to first select one of the voices, again in this case, Control alt shift 2 and then filter out the rests in the Home tab and then the Filters menu. You can see here that I have created a shortcut to this particular filter as well, because it can be a very handy tool. Once you've selected your rests, you can then hide them all by pressing Control shift h Just make sure you don't hide any rests that you actually need, though. Now, there's actually a very good plugin for this that's worth downloading. It's simply called Hide Duplicate Rests, and it does exactly what its title implies. It simply hides any duplicate rests. When working with different voices, it can be easy to forget that each voice has a preset note stem direction. If there are multiple voices in a staff, the blue and orange stems will point upwards, 
and the green and pink stems will point downwards. Of course, if we forget this and put, for example, our blue voice below our green voice, then the note stems will collide with one another, as we can see here. But we can easily fix this by swapping the voices. We first select the required passage and then right click with the mouse. We then hover over voice and select the voices that we would like to swap. Now, because swapping voices one and two is very commonly required, Sibelius has also made a shortcut for this, Shift V. This is a small feature you should definitely take note of because it's so easy to become muddled up when working with multiple voices. So one last thing that we really should discuss is how to remove or delete just one voice from a staff that contains multiple voices. Of course, one way is to filter out the voice you need and then simply press delete. You'll then be left with a bunch of rests, but if you still have them selected, you can just hit delete again and that should remove them. Now, if that's not fast or clean enough for you, there's a wonderful little plugin that you can download called Delete Voices 1 to 4. You simply select a passage, find the plugin, and then click the voice you would like to delete. And as always, if you need to do this frequently, you can just create a shortcut to it, as I've done. So I hope that those have been some helpful little tips and hints for working with voices. I'll catch you in the next lesson.